welcome to SubscriberNation.com, where you'll meet the creators behind amazing online video channels, sharing their stories, inspiration, and hottest tips, and helping you learn from their success. Welcome to this edition of Subscriber Nation, and I've got Randall with me, and Randall's the voice of the Honey Badger. Randall, why don't you tell us a little bit about your show and you? Sure. Uh, well, I love wildlife and I love nature and animals. And basically all I'm trying to do is edutain. Uh, I feel that if you can educate folks through humor uh, and have the facts there, then people will listen up. And that's pretty much the gist of all the videos that I try to do. Awesome. So maybe you could tell us how you got started. I think there was, there was kind of a big video that got you started. <laughs> yes. Uh, I got my start by narrating a really crazy video about honey badgers. And the video is called The Crazy Nasty Ass Honey Badger. And uh, I didn't really expect it to take off the way that it did. Uh, my intention was just to have fun, uh, show people how wild this animal is. And it just kind of took a life of its own. Uh, and ever since then, it's been platform springboard for me to just let everyone know about every other animal out there. This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. It's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. Whoa, watch out, says that bird. Ew, it's got a snake. Oh, it's chasing a jackal. Oh my gosh. Do you have any idea how many views that video has? I mean, I don't know. Over 67 million. <laughs> Sweet. Very cool. It's crazy. Um, so if that isn't inspiring you, uh, 67 million views on your first video, uh, what does inspire you? Uh, what inspires me basically is just everyday life. Uh, when I go outside and I see a hummingbird flying around, that's inspiring. When I go on YouTube and I watch other creators making really funny, uh, tasteful videos, that's inspiring. I mean, I get a lot of inspiration from a lot that's out there, ultimately. Cool. Very good. Um, well, can you tell us about a time that you learned from a mistake? Oh, actually, it's funny. Ironically, the mistake was the Honey Badger video in that we just kind of stole that footage from National Geographic. <laughs> and the lesson learned is use your own footage. If it's not your own footage that you haven't shot, then make sure it's public domain and something that you can use. Because really, I think that's a big mistake a lot of YouTubers out there make. Uh, in thinking that they can just use anything, but as long as they just add their twist, it's theirs. But that's not true. Yeah, so essentially with that, you're, you're unable to monetize that. You're, Correct. Somebody's making money possibly, but it's not you. That's the right. 67 million views are yes. somebody else's because it wasn't your footage. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I guess then why don't we jump right into money. Okay. Um, so how do you make money? Are you able to make money off of YouTube? Or are you making money some other way? Is it kind of working together? It's, it's working together. I mean, uh, I actually work with a, uh, you know, they have a lot of online and YouTube management agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, so I happen to work with a, a, an outfit named Full Screen, And I think they're terrific. They help me uh, max, they help me increase my subscription uh, you know, a lot of these agencies and management companies are great because they'll help you increase your following, mm -hmm. your subscribers. Uh, I, do I make money? Yes and no. I mean, I make enough to pay the bills, but not enough to pay the rent and feed the animals, so to speak. Uh -huh. So basically, uh, I make my money from working with companies and other outfits out there that want me to narrate whatever they have. So that could be a movie, it could be a product, it could be software or an app. That's basically how uh, I've been able to make a living is by narrating and making videos for other companies. The, the videos that I make on my own, it pays okay, but it just doesn't pay as much as, say, someone who has uh, 2 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, what I've learned is the more subscribers one has, the more money you're going to make. Yep. Yes, definitely. Uh, so that's cool. So you're using essentially YouTube as your springboard into something else, which I Correct. think is really how a lot of people, if you're going to be able to make a living off of YouTube, it's yeah. not going to be off of advertising alone. That's right. There's some people that can do that, but it's going to be using YouTube to spread your brand and to give you show your value or show, show you as a thought leader or some kind of leader. That's absolutely correct. And for the most part, I mean, I think a lot of folks out there are under the impression that you can just make a video and it'll go viral and make a lot of money. Keep in mind, watcher, viewers, that you watchers, viewers, that YouTube also makes their percentage. So mm. the money doesn't all go to you. You know, Google and YouTube get their share. 
uh, and then if you do work with a management firm or something like this, they're going to get their share, and then you get your share. So it's something to keep in mind. Uh, and again, I'm just a big proponent and supporter of doing original, uh, uh, your own original work. You know, I see a lot of folks out there that have gaming channels and things like this, uh, and I, I just think that the more content you can create, the better in the long run for yourself. Definitely. Definitely. Was there a piece of equipment that you can't live without? I cannot live without this software called Pluralize. <laughs> oh, love Pluralize. wow. I love Pluralize. This thing just makes everything so much easier. What it does, folks, is it basically sound syncs your work. So if you're recording sound um, onto a different, uh, you know, you're not doing it through the camera, but you're using a sound zoom or something else. Basically, it's a real, it takes so long. It's very difficult. It's time consuming to manually sync yep. everything up. With Pearlize, it's a snap. It does it all for you, and I just, I couldn't be more pleased. So that, and also, uh, I love Canon cameras. Yes, yes. We're yes. shooting this now on a Canon 60D. Amazing. Um, yes. What is next for you? Uh, what's next is basically a lot of collaborations. I think that's also very key in this world of YouTube is you must collaborate. you got to reach out to other folks, and it's just great for cross-promotion. You know, it's... Mm. Uh, you film me, I film you, you're going to be on my channel, I'm going to put you on your channel. And, it's, and then suddenly what happens is the people that are following the person that you work with, they're going to follow you and vice versa. So I'm all about collaboration. I'm looking forward to collaborating with a bunch of folks in the future. I'm, gonna, I'm actually working uh, on making some music, sweet music with Flula, who's an amazing uh, German dance YouTuber. Flula, DJ Flula is incredible. Cool. Uh, chef, uh, chef uh, rather, Katie Chin. Uh, there are just a lot of folks, uh, the good folks over Collective and Epic Mealtime, all these people. The more people you can create and collaborate with, I feel the better. What's next for me is I'm, I'm trying to do animal shows where I just tell, uh, you know, a lot of dirty animal jokes and multimedia stuff like this. Perfect. Um, and I think that's, that's, that and also I've just been pitching out a bunch of shows to what they call traditional because now television and movie cinema mm. is traditional and we're in this digital age. Uh, so that's really what's next for me. And also just creating content as, as often as I possibly can. Yes, definitely. Awesome. So um, how can everyone find you? You can find me on YouTube.com slash CZG123. It's right there. Or you can also find me on Twitter at Randall's Animals. Very good. Well, awesome. Thank you. This is a great collaboration here. Yeah. And uh, we will see you in about a week. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Let everyone know what you learned today in the comment section at subscribernation.com, where you'll also find more hot tips and resources. And if you aren't already a Subscriber Nation subscriber, click here. Click here to find another interview or here to see more from today's guest. Okay, so uh, what is next for you? Uh, what's... Oh, <laughs> <laughs>